Vidura College, Colombo. Grade 1, Environment Studies. Let's play with water. Part 1. Hello my dear children. I hope everyone staying healthy and safe. Today we are going to learn more about water. In this lesson you can learn sources of water, characteristics of water and uses of water. Here we go. Okay children, shall we learn about sources of water? Sources of water means the ways of getting water. We can get water from tap, rain, well. And also we can get water from pond, waterfall, sea and lake. Okay children, now I am going to explain you about characteristics of water. Let me ask you some questions. My first question. Can you see any color in water? No, there is no color in water which means Water doesn't have any color. My second question. Can you taste any flavor in water? No, there is no taste in water. Which means water doesn't have any taste. My third question. Can you smell any good or bad smell from water? No, there is no smell for water. And my last question. Can you see any shape in water? No, there is no shape for water. Which means water doesn't have any shape. So let me explain you again. Water has no taste. Water has no color. Water has no smell. And water has no shape. Okay children, I hope you got an idea about characteristics of water. Okay children, now we are going to learn about uses of water or how we use water. So we use water for different purposes. We use water to drink to cook and to wash our hands and body. What else do we use water for? Here we go. We use water to wash our clothes. Without water we cannot wash clothes and also we need water for watering plants and we use water to clean dishes and also we use water for swimming Okay children, 
I hope you understand about uses of water. As I told you, we use water for many purpose. Next, I am going to teach you how to do a bubble art using water. It's going to be a fun activity. Here we go. Bubble art. Okay children. So these are the ingredients that you need to do a bubble art. 5 paper cups. Glass of water. 5 different water colors. Liquid soap. 2 plastic straws, 2 A4 papers. Ok children, now step by step I will teach you how to do a bubble art. First step, take one paper cup and add 3 tablespoons of liquid soap bubbles and 2 tablespoons of paint into the cup. Second step. Mix the paint and liquid soap together and add some water into the cup. Third step. Dip the straw into the bubble paint and then blow out bubbles. Fourth step. Place an A4 paper top on the cup. Fifth step. After you place an A4 paper on top of the cup, as you see in the picture, the bubble paint will paste on the paper. You can try the same steps to get different colorful bubble paintings. Ok children, now I hope you can do a bubble art alone. Have fun. Try your best and be creative. So my dear children, I hope you all enjoyed this lesson. We will learn further about this lesson in the next video. Until that, stay safe and have a good day. Thank you.